Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Economic Council of Palm Beach County Foundation, welcome to the 37th annual William T. Dwyer Awards for Excellence in Education presented by Hanley Foundation. It is truly my pleasure to host these awards and that you can actually hear me tonight and to celebrate the amazing educators that we are blessed to have here in Palm Beach County. Please stand in recognition of our national anthem performed by the Jupiter High School Warrior Chorus. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we Jupiter High School, that was beautiful. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the President and CEO of the Economic Council of Palm Beach County and my friend, Michelle Jacobs. Thank you so much, Felicia. My friend, back at you. So appreciate you doing this for us. Welcome again. We are so excited that you've joined us this evening for our 37th Annual Dwyer Awards for Excellence in Education. Established in 1975, the Economic Council of Palm Beach County is a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that supports an open and collaborative relationship between the public and private sectors here in Palm Beach County. Ever since our founding, the Economic Council of Palm Beach County strives to ensure business can prosper throughout our county. A strong element of this is a fervent educational system. The Dwyer Awards began in 1984 and were named after a true pioneer that loved education to the core, William T. Dwyer. The Dwyer Award seeks to recognize our community's outstanding teachers in public and private and charter schools. Thousands have been nominated, hundreds have become finalists, and only 160 teachers have been recognized as Dwyer Award winners over the last 36 years. We are so thrilled to present the next seven winners tonight. But as you all know, this past year has been so different. The education system as we knew it changed abruptly in March of 2020. We were acutely aware of the extra workload that was being placed on our educators and school staff, many of whom had never had a chance to slow down or focus on their own family's health and safety. We saw that our educators shared a willingness to reimagine what teaching can be. We knew that our educators, now more than ever, deserve to be recognized and that the Dwyer Awards must go on. The superintendent says it's two weeks for now, but the order to close could be extended depending on how the coronavirus continues to spread. I remember the day that we found out. We just assumed we were coming back after two weeks. I think my team was a little bit panicked because virtual learning was something completely new to everybody. I think it was kind of like having the rug pulled under you because what you knew to be home, what you knew to be life was completely changed in a day. Having to teach virtually kind of forced you to build even a stronger relationship than you had in the past. And one big question right now with all of these school closures is what it means for families who rely on free and reduced lunches for their kids. The district here in Palm Beach County says they're working on a plan to make sure they can still provide those meals. Palm Beach kids can't learn. It's very difficult to focus when you're in class. Sometimes you don't have a thing in your stomach. 
I knew that our students were afraid, so were the parents. And the one thing that we really didn't want them to worry about was food security. These teachers, these administrators, the staff, they have a way of just adapting. Our school has been amazingly supportive and on point with how to get all the kids learning. My daughter, Samantha Gorman, she is hard of hearing. Miss Lamb is Sam's interpreter. Um, she's with her every day, all day. It was really hard because I couldn't read lips, couldn't under completely understand what the kids or teachers are saying. Miss Lamb has figured out to have my mom's iPad right next to my computer, and we would like FaceTime throughout the class. And it really helped. I knew that we had to get creative. And I said, so what could we do to engage them more? We came up with the idea, if you get a certain amount of points over time, you get your teachers to surprise you. So, you know, you do those things just to keep them engaged and wanting to do the work and showing up every day. Engaging a child virtually was definitely a task that we kind of took on. For me, it included colorful hair. I did, we sing, we dance, we did virtual reality. We did things to really pull them back into us. I remember using the green screen to bring myself back into the classroom. Everybody in, within the district has had to change to make sure that we are doing everything we can to keep our kids educated and fed. Since the pandemic, we were able to give over about 24 million meals. It's given me so much more of a purpose to make sure that I get up and I make sure that everybody have what they need just to serve the community. It's such a blessing to me. Many of the parents I had last year and this year were very connected. I think they knew I loved their child before, but I think just seeing it and understanding the depth of that love kind of made them even more appreciative for the work that not just I do, but teachers all over the district and the state do. Our daughter, she's been able to actually thrive virtually this year, and that's all in large part due to Mrs. Soto. I'll always love being a teacher. Would I say that this year has been more challenging than any other year in my 17 years of teaching? Absolutely. Was I up for the challenge? Absolutely. Did we do it? It wasn't just me. It was all of Palm Beach County. I think it's a, it's a testament to what we do as teachers, how we build these really strong relationships that even during a pandemic, we can still have these really close bonds to students. I just want Mrs. Uh, Soto and Mrs. Michaels to know how extremely grateful we are. Thank you, Ms. Lamb. The school district has done nothing but help us. I don't know how to say thank you to a whole bunch of people like that other than saying, we have a good kid and she's gonna do really well. And it has to do with the school. Good evening. My name is Art Menner, and it is my honor and privilege to serve as the chair of the Economic Council of Palm Beach County. It is with great pleasure that I welcome all past and present nominees, this year's finalists, and previous William T. Dwyer Award winners who are with us this evening. I'm delighted to be able to represent the board of directors of the Economic Council at this year's Dwyer Award ceremony particularly in light of the amazing work of our educators during the last 14 months of this pandemic, as evidenced in that moving video that we all just watched. It is truly an honor for the Economic Council of Palm Beach County to present these awards. We are very proud of this program, which we started 37 years ago. All of us had an amazing teacher or two that helped shape up who we are today. This highlights what a critical role teachers play in our society and why it is so important to recognize that vital role through programs like this one. And we can't put on programs like the Dwyer Awards without generous support from our sponsors, especially our presenting sponsor, the Hanley Foundation. The Hanley Foundation serves our community through substance abuse prevention and education and it has now been our presenting sponsor for six years. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the president and CEO of the Hanley Foundation, Jan Carnes.
Please help me welcome Jan to say a few words at this time. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for the gracious introduction. As Art said, I'm Jan Carnes, CEO for Hanley Foundation, and we are extremely proud to be the sixth time presenting sponsor for the Dwyer Awards. First of all, we want to congratulate all the teachers that were nominated this year and recognize the hard work that they have put in to not only get through, but also excel during a year of challenges as well as innovations. Teachers, we want to recognize your leadership tonight. I believe that being an educator is synonymous with being a leader, a skill and quality that is often taken for granted or overlooked. Well, tonight, Hanley Foundation wants you to know that we see you. We see the way you have led through the uncertainties and obstacles that COVID brought and continues to bring. We see how you led in your classrooms, persevering even on the days when you don't have the energy. We see why you lead and the difference your positive influence has on our students, building up their character and encouraging them to be the very best. Your leadership is the example and inspiration. But at some point, your students will have to decide if they're going to step into their own leadership roles within their classrooms, among their peers, and in their homes. Just like you make that choice every single day to step into your leadership role, they also, they also must step into theirs. At Hanley Foundation, we believe in the importance of empowering individuals and families to step into leadership roles every day and have the courage to live drug free. It's a choice and no one can make that choice for anyone except themselves. But we always believe that leadership is a means to offer the needed encouragement, inspiration and challenge for our students, children and peers to make those life giving choices. At Hanley Foundation, our mission is to eliminate addiction through prevention, advocacy, and recovery support. We are passionate about leading from a place of encouragement. We want people to be empowered to make the best choices for themselves and their families, and we want to support them throughout their lives. Leadership is a choice. Having the courage to step into the healthiest version of yourself is a choice no matter how long the journey is to get there. Hanley Foundation supports you while you make that journey because we have seen the life-giving difference it makes. We hope you will get involved and visit HanleyFoundation.org to sign up for the resources like our parenting series webinar with Dr. Peter D. Beneditas on June 24th. Dr. D is going to be talking about alcohol and media literacy, and we want to encourage you to join us for a great free seminar. Before I end, I want to once again say congratulations to all of the nominees, finalists, and winners tonight. You deserve our highest recognition, and because of your leadership, you have given the next generation opportunities to become impactful leaders. Now it is my honor to introduce our Palm Beach County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Donald Fenoy. Good evening, everyone. I'm excited to be here with you today to celebrate the nominees and winners of the 2021 Dwyer Awards. I want to first take a moment to thank the Hanley Foundation for their ongoing support of the Dwyer Awards. For those of you who may not know, the foundation provides substance abuse prevention and education programs. They also provide financial aid scholarships for patients who could not otherwise afford addiction treatment. Those are incredibly important services, especially during a time when people may be having difficulty coping with challenging circumstances all around us. I also want to acknowledge the collaborative partnership between the school district and the Economic Council. We are all focused on promoting excellence in education in Palm Beach County, and the Dwyer Awards have done just that for more than 30 years. Thank you to the Economic Council for your support and cooperation. As we all know, so much has happened over the past year. We moved from on-campus instruction to distance learning and back again. We went from walking around bare face to wearing masks. We used to shake hands and high five each other. Now it's an elbow bump 
or a nod of the head in someone's direction. But one thing never changed or wavered, and that was that the dedication of our teachers, their commitment to ensuring student success is constant, a steady, reassuring force for good in our schools and the community. Some occupations have a set of words that captures the essence of their profession. For instance, doctors have their Hippocratic Oath. Postal workers strive to deliver mail through all conditions. Teachers may not have a universal creed that sums up their pledge to educate, but they operate from a wonderful set of values that sustains their efforts and keeps them going, no matter what. Through upheaval and uncertainty, our teachers will still educate. In the face of unbelievable challenges, in the midst of a global pandemic, our teachers will continue to show up to help our children learn. During these hours, and even after the final bell has rung, teachers are working to give their students what they need to thrive. For our educators, their job is a calling, a mission, and a life's work. So much goes into teaching that can't be boiled down into a few sentences. But here today, I want to devote a few words to saying thank you. I am so proud of our teachers because we couldn't do any of this without you. I hope you know that we appreciate you. We are grateful for your perseverance and devotion to our students, schools, and community. Congratulations to the more than 450 Dwyer Award nominees, the finalists, and the seven winners. Each of you deserves applause and celebration for everything you do for our students. Thank you everyone for your attention this evening and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you, Dr. Fenoy. Our teachers certainly have been our lifelines through this pandemic. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Sergio Mariaca, president of Mariaca Wealth Management and the chair of the Dwyer Awards Committee. Thank you, Felicia. And once again, congratulations to all of our Dwyer Award nominees and finalists and to all of our extraordinary educators and school-based employees who showed us all over these last 14 months just how lucky we are to have you and why you are truly our community's most essential workers. Now, this evening would not be possible without the tremendous and generous community support that we receive each year. In particular, we would like to thank the following sponsors. Our presenting sponsor, once again and again and again, thank you, Hanley Foundation. Our excellent sponsor, Pratt and Whitney. Our award sponsors, Comcast, Gunster, PNC Bank, and United Healthcare. Our virtual stage sponsor, the Elmore Family Foundation. Our finalist sponsor, the Vasilio Group. Our knowledge sponsors, Bank of America, Blue Ocean Capital, Kaiser University, Kitson and Partners, Mariaca Wealth Management, Nova Southeastern University, Oxbow Carbon, Schutz and Bowen, and White's Construction. Our creativity sponsors, The Breakers, Career Source of Palm Beach County, East Wind Development, Palm Beach State College Foundation, and Perry and Taylor. Our teacher and student sponsors, Dr. Dennis Gallen and Jones Lowry, and our media sponsors, WPBF Channel 25 and the Palm Beach Post. I would also like to thank our committee co-chair, Michael Basilio and Erica Palmisano, who spearheaded our extraordinary educator effort and the entire Dwyer Awards Committee who worked tirelessly to put on this event and who made sure we recognize the broader education community who have really had to step up and pivot in response to the pandemic. Lastly, none of this would be possible without the incredible efforts of our very own Natalie Karen, the Economics Council Program Director, Natalie, we don't know how you do it all, but we're grateful you do. Thank you. And now the moment we have all been waiting for, the announcement of the 37th Annual Dwyer Awards for Excellence in Education. There certainly is a lot of excitement to find out who our winners are. So without further ado, I'd like to now introduce Cressman Bronson, 
president of Southeast Florida for PNC Bank to present our first award of the evening, Grow Up Great Early Education. Thank you, Sergio. Uh, first, I wanna, I wanna extend a very heartfelt thank you to all the teachers and administrators for going above and beyond and continuing to educate our children and for being passionate educators. I'm here not only as a board member of the Economic Council, but also as a parent of two teenagers that graduated from Palm Beach uh, County Public Schools and one teenager currently in the Palm Beach County Public School system. I'm also proud to work for a company that is committed to education, specifically early childhood education. At PNC, we value the importance of starting off on the right foot and how the early years can have an impactful significance on a child's success in school and life. We have a dedicated program related to early childhood education called PNC Grow Up Great. This $500 million program started 17 years ago and to date has trained over 450,000 early childhood educators and has assisted more than 7 million children from birth to age five. We are proud to introduce you to the finalists in the Grow Up Great Early Education category. Hi, my name is Barb Berenger and I teach pre-K at Palm Beach Gardens Elementary. I love teaching because I get to see so much excitement and growth from children every day. And when you put seeds in water, what happens? There's roots. There are roots. We work so hard on building a classroom community and a school family, and you can really feel it. The kids are able to talk with each other, converse, let each other know if they're upset or excited or how to help each other. They truly love and care about each other. And that is what I believe is one of my most important jobs or goals in teaching is to teach children how to care for each other, how to love and how to be a kind, caring friend who can support others. Hi, my name is Magali Hodgkiss and I'm the VPK teacher at South Olive Elementary School in West Palm Beach, and I have been with Palm Beach County Schools for 26 years. My greatest achievement in the classroom is taking that child who lacks confidence and turning them into a confident student. My students have a passion for learning. They enjoy coming to school. Like today, a child said to me, oh, I'm leaving, and I'm gonna miss you so much, she says, and she comes up and we do virtual hugs and she's pretending to hug me. It just fills your heart with love to see these children and the excitement and enthusiasm they have for school and for coming. And I think that when children know that you really care, whether they're sitting in front of a computer screen or they're sitting in your classroom, I think they all rise to the occasion and do the best they can. Hi, my name is Nancy Sierra. I'm a pre-K teacher at Jonah and Leonard High School. I have the opportunity every day to be part of the lives and their learning process of the youngest uh, students in the district. I love my students because they fill my heart with so much, so much joy, kindness, and love. Um, every time that they say, I love you, Miss Sierra, or you're the best teacher ever, it just uh, reminds me or the impact that I make in their lives. What motivates me to be a great teacher is the passion and love that I have for children. Um, getting to see my students smile every day, getting to know the way they see the world, how they experience things for the very first time. It is an honor to have the chance to do what I love the most by being a role model and by motivating and, and challenging them to be the best um, they can be and reach their potentials. Hi, my name is Jaina Adams-Smith, and I teach at Gove Elementary School, and I teach pre-K special needs. I feel very proud to be able to be nominated because they think that I'm a good teacher. My mother was a Dwyer um, Award winner, and so I've been in the school system for over 29 years. Accomplishments come every single day in a special education classroom. Whether it's being able to use a spoon or a fork to eat, 
that day or being able to go to the restroom by themselves. I love my students because they smile all the time and they're happy to be there, which makes me happy to be there. I get up every single morning. I love going to class. I love getting to see my kids every morning. And I know that when I get there, that something is gonna be new. There's a new challenge every single day. And if I put my mind to it, I can make a difference in each one of my children's lives. All right, well, congratulations to, to all the finalists. And the winner is Jaina Smith, Gove Elementary School. Hello. Can you hear me? We can. Okay. We can hear you. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me or not. Yep. We can. Okay. We're live. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, super, super excited, super grateful to be chosen for this award. It means a lot to me. I've been in the school system for 29 years, and teaching kids is a passion of mine. And I feel very grateful that someone has recognized what I do and that, that it makes a difference, because I do believe it makes a difference. So real quickly, I want to be able to thank Gove Elementary for putting that with me for 29 years. Great colleagues, great friends to the administration who allows us to teach and teach children and give them what they need um, to the pre-K special ed team. Can't do it without you. you. Make it every day worthwhile getting up and going to work. So I love you guys. Ms. Robinson, Ms. Perez, Ms. Holden. And um, to my mom, who is a special education teacher who inspired me to teach children with special needs. And to my family, my husband for 25 years, who's listened to every little story that I've been so excited to be able to come home and say, this is what Johnny did today. This is what Sarah did today. And he just listens and he encourages me to continue to do what he knows that I love. So, and obviously to the Economic Council for recognizing the hard work and dedication of the teachers in Palm Beach County that provides education to our students. Thank you so much. All right, well, congratulations, Jana, and it's very special that now you can join great company like your, your mother by sharing this award. I'd now like to introduce Carla Roderick, our Regional Director, External Affairs, Comcast, NBC Universal, to present this year's winner for elementary education. Carla, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I don't think we can hear you. Um, are you able to maybe just refresh your... Thanks, Pressman. I'm Carla Roderick, Regional Director of External Affairs for Comcast in Palm Beach and Treasure Coast. I hope you can hear me now. Sure can. We all know this time has been like no other. Despite co the COVID curveballs, our local educators stepped up and made co their commitments to our students even stronger. And as a media and technology company, one of our key focus areas is and always has been supporting education and technology initiatives. When COVID hit, it certainly magnified the importance of digital access. 
As we all know, a broadband connection at home ensures families can take advantage of vast resources of the internet for school, employment, and even for medical resources. Since our Internet Essentials program launched in 2011, we've been making great progress in bridging the digital divide and have connected millions of households to the internet, many for the first time. Additionally, we've rolled out the Internet Essentials Partnership Program, which gives community partners like the Palm Beach County School District and other organizations the ability to sponsor the $9.95 monthly cost for eligible low-income families. So yes, basically it's provided at no cost to these low-income families who qualify. For those students who still are not able to gain access at home, we've created lift zones. You've probably seen our commercials. But lift zones are free Wi-Fi hotspots, access sites located at community partner facilities like community centers, providing students with places outside of the home and school to safely connect to the internet. I just wanna thank everyone. It's such an honor to be here. If you have an opportunity, stop and ask me about the lift zones or the Internet Essentials Partnership Program and I'd be happy to chat. But now on to much more important things. Comcast is so proud to take this moment to introduce to you the finalist in the elementary education category. Hi, my name is Michael Gallucci and I teach first grade at Marsh Point Elementary School in Palm Beach Gardens. I'm proud to be a teacher because I love making a huge impact on my students' lives. That positive male role model and create a safe place where students can feel respected and know that I really care about them. I try to connect with every single one of my students, forming a special bond so they all know how important they really are to me. The more I can relate to them, the more effectively I can help them learn. Humor, laughter, and high energy are a few of my special gifts that have become strengths in my role as a teacher. I really believe that these skills keep students engaged and motivated to always participate and do their best. From dressing up as characters that I've created, working to create really that fun, loving, least restrictive environment where my students feel empowered to take risks. Once they feel fearless and comfortable with who they are, that's when I know that I can get them moving towards their academic goals and really push their best potential. Hi, I'm Dr. Laquandra Golf, and I'm a third grade teacher at Rolling Green Elementary School. I was the first out of my family to receive my high school diploma. And not only that, I journeyed on and got three more degrees. I'm a doctor of education. So I really value education in general. And that's basically why I teach. I want to give kids the opportunity to grow, to overcome those obstacles, because anything is possible with a quality and equitable education. And I'm proof of that. I know that every student is capable of learning. And I tell my kids every day, broken crayons still color. Um, in spite of what a child may have been through or what they have experienced, they still have purpose and value. Teachers provide the platform for students to reach the impossible. I was once one of those students sitting in the classroom. I am making a difference. I'm giving back to my community and I'm raising my students to be productive citizens. So that's why I'm proud to be a teacher. Hi, I am Alyssa Maddox and I teach fourth grade at South Grade Elementary School. We all remember our teachers and I am honored to have the opportunity with my students. I get to guide them and cheer them on and encourage them and support them as they grow and it's an honor to watch that process happen. I want to be the best I can for them. I want to develop my craft and learn from others and just be as great of a teacher I can for them. It is an honor to be a Dwyer nominee because there are so many great educators in Palm Beach County. We work hard to each day to show up for Team Palm Beach and it is awesome to be recognized among my fellow educators. The pandemic has changed how I view teaching, it really shown me the power of educators. When we show up and we just try our best, we can still make an impact in our students' lives and it's really all our students need.
Hello, my name is Mrs. Shamika Shelton. I am a third grade teacher at the Conservatory School at North Palm Beach. When the students show that they love each other and they just want to grow and be around each other no matter what, that also makes me proud because like I always tell my students, we're a little family and they can depend on each other and they can depend on me also. And for them to feel welcomed and loved and just want to be themselves and have the ability to be free, that also makes me a proud educator. To be that God that they may not have anywhere else, um, to let them know that it's okay, mistakes are okay, failing is okay, as long as we try first, that motivates me to want to push them and become as great as I know that they all can be. For little old me to become an honoree of the DeWire Awards, it makes me feel like I do have an impact on the community and my students, and it makes me feel very good about myself. And the winner is... Dr. LaQuandra Golf, Rolling Green Elementary School. Thank you guys so much. Can you hear me? No, if you can hear me. No? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. You're good to go. Okay, sorry. I'm so emotional. I can't believe I won this. Um, I just want to thank the Economic Council for putting this on and recognizing the teachers. I want to thank Rolling Green for allowing me to grow. Um, the administration team held my hand my whole nine years I've been there teaching. Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so emotional. This is such an honor. Um, I also want to thank my team, my third grade team. Um, they pushed me to be my very best these last couple of years. And um, I just want to thank my kids, my students. My students allowed me uh, to grow, and I saw myself in them. And I'm just so honored and thankful. Sorry. <laughs> thank you, guys. Congratulations again, Dr. Golf. Now cut that out because you're going to make us all tear up. Um, congratulations to all the participants and all the nominees. That was wonderful. Um, I'd now like to introduce Michael Vasilio, the vice president of the Vasilio Group, to present this year's finalist for the middle school education. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. The Vasilio Group is a fourth generation, family owned and operated business providing a wide range of heavy highway, mining and energy services and products to our valued public and private sector customers. After being in business in one form or another for over 120 years, we know how important a good education can be. And that is why we are honored to be a part of these festivities tonight. We are very proud to introduce you to the finalists in the middle school education category. Hi, my name is Alyssa Arterburn and I teach sixth grade language arts at Wellington Landings Middle School. I love teaching. I love helping. I love giving and teaching is something that you can help and you can give and so for me, walking away every day knowing I helped this student, I gave something that this student didn't have, and now they do, that's inspiring to me, and I love it. Oh, I see Precious online. She clicked one and went, yes! It, it just makes my day, honestly. Coming here every day and working with these kids, it's inspirational. You may walk away not having the best day, but you can think back to a time when you prepared a kid, whether it be with content or whether it be just I helped shape them into a better person. I gave them kind of an outlet so that they know how to talk to someone respectfully. And for me, having them become better people, that makes the world a difference. That's huge to me. I suppose three words that describe me as a teacher are passionate, you know, about my subject area. Uh, I would say energetic. I try to bring that into the classroom and certainly motivated. I mean, I am motivated to bring my A game every day and to help these kids get interested. 
talk about perseverance, right? This is the year of perseverance. These kids are, are showing up and they're doing the work that they would do normally. Uh, you know, for the most part, these kids are still really avid lovers of learning. And for my debate kids, they're using these opportunities to just better their game. And uh, they've been so open to feedback and, and open to those changes. Whereas at first I was, I was probably the one who was most afraid of taking debate online, you know, to remember that at the end of the day, it really just is about changing that course. And, and when we can change that course, we can maintain that passion and we can still reach those kids, which is why we all got into education in the first place. Hi, my name is Annette Johnson and I teach music at Palm Beach Day Academy. Any child can be successful in music. You just have to approach it the right way. You have to let them know that your music room is a safe environment. You're gonna mess up, I'm gonna mess up, but that's okay. And we're gonna get through this whole process together and you're gonna be successful. When you can see that they're having fun, they're learning, they've been challenged, but yet they got it. And that's the best feeling in the world. And that's what teaching's all about to me. When I can see the light bulb go off and I see that joy in their eyes when they say, I got it, I understand this now, that's the best feeling. My name is Andrea Kennedy. I teach at Congress Middle School in Boynton Beach, and I teach comprehensive science. I'm the teacher that the kids don't like to come to at first. They don't wanna be in my class. They say it's too hard. And then somewhere around December, January, I'm the class that they're trying to come to all the time. Um, so I'm the teacher that's gonna push you and push you beyond where you thought you could go. I'm gonna be your motivator. I don't I don't care where you come from. I'm going to show you that you can overcome just about anything and get where you want to go. When we were first faced with the COVID pandemic, give us the number of problems. I've had to come up with very creative ways. I have sang, I have danced. My motivation is to instill in my kids a love of learning. Hopefully I've left them with a love of exploring the world that they're a part of. Wow, what amazing stories and fantastic finalists. And the winner is Andrea Kennedy, Congress Middle School. Congratulations. I am, um, I'm completely humbled by, by this. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna cry. This is so nerve-wracking. Um, I am I'm humbled and honored that my school nominated me. My my Cougar team has the most amazing teachers. They do great things every day that you don't see in the classroom. Um, you know, because they're in their classroom, you 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 don't see it, but they are doing amazing amazing things. Um, my support staff and my admin. They're my biggest cheerleaders, and they put so much confidence in me that, you know, you, you want to live up to the confidence they put in you. Um, I have had a lot of really good mentors along the way um, from my school, teachers that just looked out for me and wanted to show me the ropes. And so I, I feel like this is, for them to nominate me is, is just very humbling. Um, I also want to thank my district support staff because they they are constantly giving us good direction and support and they're the people on my secondary science team they answer text messages emails all hours of the day and night and especially during this past year that's been really really important um, so I want to thank them I need to thank my students because they face obstacles in their own lives and despite all of that um, they come to school every day and they put in a hundred percent effort for me um, because they know that's what I expect I need to thank my family who I'm trying really hard to make them be quiet now but um, I need to thank them 
because they remind me that it's the weekend and I need to stop working and go outside and, you know, get some fresh air. Um, and then I want to thank the members of the Economic Council because this has been a really tough year for everybody. And these leaders, they realize that it takes a village to raise a child. And we are all collectively part of that village. And, and they recognize that. So I want to thank them. Thank you very, very much. I am beyond honored. Thank you so much. Congratulations again, Andrea, and truly it is our pleasure uh, as part of the Economic Council. I would now like to introduce Josh Goodman, Director of the Auxiliary Power Unit and Turbojet Program Office at Pratt & Whitney, West Palm Beach with Pratt Whitney to present this year's finalists for Senior High School Education. Thank you, Michael. First, a big thank you to the Economic Council of Palm Beach County and the Dwyer Awards Committee for hosting us all this evening to recognize some of our region's best educators. I'm honored to be here this evening representing Pratt & Whitney. The Dwyer Awards are named after William T. Dwyer, who served as Vice President of Pratt & Whitney's Government Products Division in Palm Beach County. Mr. Dwyer was committed to the people of Palm Beach County and a true inspiration to others. He led the effort to recognize excellence in education and offered unwavering support for our area teachers and administrators. At Pratt & Whitney, we work to meticulously design, build, and service the world's most advanced, unrelenting aircraft engines as a way of transforming aviation and turning possibilities into realities. In our communities, we work to support those who inspire and educate young minds who mold future leaders in our community and offer the tools to be agile, innovative, and creative, and who will contribute to our society with problem solving and critical thinking skills. And tonight, this virtual event honors those that have the most important role in developing our future generation of leaders. It's teachers like you who make it cool to learn and make it second nature for young minds to keep learning. Teachers like you have a gift to encourage learning through a vast curriculum, through the arts and STEM, making learning fun and exciting. Our employees innovate each and every day to support the aerospace and defense industry. Teachers innovate to create our next generation of leaders. To the teachers here this evening, thank you for innovating each and every day to inspire, support, and teach our next generation of leaders. And now, we're proud to introduce you to the finalists in the Senior High School Education category. Hi, my name is Robin Larrabee. I teach at Park Vista Community High School. I'm the ACE Media Instructor. I have found that being in the classroom with these kids truly is where I need to be. I don't think in any other profession you could grow as much as you can as a teacher. You cannot affect as many people as you do as a teacher. It is a, an honor to be a Dwyer nominee. I work with incredible people and I always have tried to surround myself with great people, but knowing that I have been narrowed down into such a small field is absolutely overwhelmingly incredible. Three words that describe me as a teacher, dedication, tenacity and extremely witty all right we'll play a little hangman here starts with a d i'm the one that has fun i'm the one who jokes around and it's not because i'm steering them away from the curriculum it's because i'm trying to steer them into a better sense of life right now my name is carla little griffiths i teach 10th grade reading at glade central high school nothing gives me more satisfaction and coming to school every day, looking into the eyes of these young kids, the kids themselves. They are the ones to motivate me um, to just keep coming and coming. Just looking at them every day, um, it's just like my kids and I, we just 
we just automatically connect and like it's just like looking at them every day i see the passion in them i see myself in them it's not where they are today it's where they're going what or uh, who they are going to become My name is Allison Moe. I'm the media specialist at Santa Lucia's Community High School. I'm proud to be a teacher because of the impact I can make on my students, that I know that I'm making a difference in their future and that that future will lead to their success. We don't have that face-to-face. -face. We don't have those, those hugs, that interaction that we have in the classroom. So I've tried to find new ways to connect with students. I've come up with um, some clubs and activities. I like making a connection so that the students know that I care about them, above their learning, above their grade, that I'm there to help them with anything that they need. And I see their appreciation with learning and with education. And when somebody reaches out and helps them, um, I see the joy that that brings. And I, I love my students so much. Hi, I am Erica Muncie, and I teach ACE Media Studies, Journalism, Yearbook, and Newspaper at Jupiter High School. Journalism matters now more than ever. We're These kids and all of us are on information overload, so my job is to empower them to be the next generation of voices. You really need to focus on that student's story. I'm all about getting them to get the story in a truthful and ethical manner. If you really want to get photos that are full of action. I tell them all the time, guys, you students are superheroes. You are doing what no other student has ever done in the history of schooling. You're superheroes. So continue that, continue documenting history, telling stories, being truthful, uh, because our nation cannot exist without good journalism. And the winner is Carla Little Griffiths of Glaive Central High School. Congratulations. Oh my god. 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 Okay. Oh my god. First, I would like to thank the Economic Council of Palm Beach County Foundation for seeing fit to develop an award program that recognizes the outstanding educators like myself, um, as well as the other finalists, to Natalie and the uh, Dwyer Award Committee members for coordinating this event from beginning to end, to my husband and my handsome five sons. Thank you for being my biggest fan club and allowing me to try out um, to try out all, um, all for be sorry for being my my biggest fan club and tr and allow me to try out or practice all of the different educational strategies over these last 13 years um, that I've learned from all the workshops and trainings that I've attended because I've always come home and tried them on you guys first. A special thank you for pushing me to keep going on those days when I come home and I question my teaching ability. You guys just always um, say to me, Mom, you're one, of the, you're one of the best teachers that I've ever seen. And then I would say something like to them like, yeah, right, y'all just saying that because I'm your mom. And then they used to reply, no, Mom, really, you are. We watch you every day, even on the weekends. 
when we see you um, making things, planning lessons, and you're drawing out those anchor charts, um, you're a very good teacher, Mom. So those are the words that, like, really, really, like, that just stayed in my heart and just kept me going when I thought that I wasn't making an impact because I knew that they were students themselves. They were not only my sons, but they were students first. Um, next, I would like to thank all of my students in which I've ever taught my current students and their parents. Thank you all for believing in me, trusting in me, working to your full potential, and then some. Because you guys know Miss LG, she's gonna always push you to the limit. I'm always gonna, I'm gonna set the bar here. So thank you guys for, you know, for always working to your full potential and some. Thank you, thank you, um, thank you guys. Um, I would like to also. Thank my, all my fellow co-workers, employees, the Palm Beach County um, School District, state and, state and district personnel, because over the years I've worked with them as well, who never share any best practices with me. Um, know that I've used them, I've tried them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Last and most of all, I would like to thank two of my favorite teachers that I still and I will never, ever, ever forget. First, Ms. Whitley, she was my sixth grade science teacher, and um, Ms. Gloria Whitney, and Mr. Mark Schultz. He's actually a co-worker at Glade Central right now, of, of mine right now, currently. Lastly, I would like to thank my fellow educators and my principal, Ms. Melanie Bolden Morris at Glade Central High School for, um, for seeing fit in me and my leadership and my teaching abilities. Um, to find it and find it noteworthy enough to nominate me and recommend me for the William P. Dwyer Award um, for Excellence in Education. I am truly grateful. Thank you. Congratulations once again. I'd now like to introduce Joe Chase, shareholder of Gunster, to announce our special programs finalists. Thank you, Josh. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Gunster has a long history of supporting the Dwyer Awards, the Economic Council of Palm Beach County, and education efforts throughout the communities we serve across Florida. We recognize the importance of education to our young people and the impact educators have on shaping each individual's future. We are happy to be here this evening and thank the Economic Council for presenting this meaningful recognition to all of these finalists. Gunster's managing shareholder, Bill Perry, is a past chair of the Economic Council. He, like myself and many of our colleagues at Gunster, is a product of South Florida public schools. In fact, in 2012, Bill received the Distinguished Alumni Award given by the, Econo by the Education Foundation of Palm Beach County. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my late colleague and friend, Ed Tanser, whose passion for education was known by most in this business community. Ed passed away in November, and his absence is palpable. Ed never met a stranger and brought many of us along in his endeavors to raise awareness, make contributions, and support his passion projects, of which there are many. Ed championed access to public education and worked tirelessly through the Education Foundation to make a difference. Many of us know the impact he had in our community. He would be proud of tonight's finalists and recipients of the Dwyer Awards. Ed and Bill are but two examples of the many Gunster attorneys and staff members who embody this passion to serve. As a statewide law firm, we pride ourselves not only on the professional service we provide to clients, but also on the impact and engagement we have in our communities. We support our attorneys and professional staff to be business leaders, both inside and outside the office. I'm proud of our history of service and I'm grateful that it is such an ingrained part of our culture here at Gunster. Now, we'd like to introduce you to the finalists in the special programs category.
Hi, I'm Chelsea Carr. I work at Palm Beach Gardens High School. I teach students with intellectual disabilities. Within my classroom, I work well with my students because I am so enthusiastic about the things that they can do. And I really try to teach them to play to their strengths. I am proud to be a teacher because I feel like I am making an impact on students who are soon to be adults entering the world on their own. I feel like I am able to help them gain independence, um, feel confident in themselves. I love my students because I uh, they make me laugh every single day. I look forward to seeing them. I've told people before that I feel like I have the best job in the world. Uh, my students give me a different perspective on life. They see things so positively. They see things from a different angle all the time and they open my eyes to new things every single day. Hi, I am Benjamin Sterling Ford and I teach at Gove Elementary School. How many sides does a triangle have? I create these connections with my students. I actually know their moms and know their dads and know the community they're from. I went to the same elementary school, Gove Elementary, and I get what these kids are going through. My student population are considered special education. And the idea is that these kids have some special learning needs. The first thing I do is change that word from needs to differences. I want my students just to see themselves, they learn differently than other people. When I reflect upon this year and think about the pandemic and how it's impacted me and my students, the district stood up and got what those kids needed and we were able to get back in the classroom and get to some sense of normalcy. Me being their teacher was the biggest sense of normalcy and me being there every day reflected my dedication and I wanted to show that. Hi, I'm Patty Hart and I'm an ESC teacher at Limestone Creek Elementary. I have students that whose parents were told that they may never walk, they may never talk, and they could not learn. And it is my joy and my pleasure to prove them wrong and when I teach my students to read and they have that light bulb moment and they realize that that's all there is to reading and that they can do that, I know that I'm giving them something that is going to set them on the right path for the rest of their class. You have to be very, very patient. You have to be willing to repeat something a lot and maybe for a long time. But you always know that at the end of the day, one day it all comes together. Every day I see them improve. I see them learn. And it just makes me have a really good feeling that I'm starting and beginning their career in education and leading them to jobs in the future. And I just really feel like that I'm making a difference in their lives. I am Misty Russo. I am the ESE coordinator at Palm Beach Lakes Community High School in West Palm Beach, Florida. I love that they're appreciative of the help that they get and the support that they get. And I always tell them, it's not a disability, it's a different ability. Your brain just learns a little bit differently. So, you know, that's kind of why I do what I do is to really teach them about themselves and give them the tools that they need to go out and be successful whether it be school, their job, the community, you know, anywhere. So that that's really what keeps me back here. And and I do, I love my kids. I do, I call them my kids. You know, they call me mom, auntie. They're starting to call me grandma. I'm not too happy about that. But, you know, it, it is it is pretty amazing. To show a kid that there's a team that cares about you and wants you to graduate and wants you to go on, you know, to the next step in your life. And And if I can make a difference in one kid's life, then that's why I come back. Wow, what, what a great group of finalists. Um, and the uh, winner is Benjamin Ford of Gove Elementary School. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can hear my family screaming in the other room. Oh, God. Jana Smith. I told you, you're my good luck charm and I'm your good luck charm. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. I want to thank my first teacher, my mother, Mary Jane Ford. She taught at Palm Beach County School Systems for many, many years, and I watched her. And I learned how to teach by watching my mother. I learned how to teach by watching my grandmother. I'm a product of Palm Beach County School System, so I feel like 
I, it's in my blood. I want to thank my principal, um, Kim Thomason. She came in my office as the ESE contact and said, you know what's wrong with this office, Mr. Ford? There are no kids in here. You need to be with kids. And she pushed me to go to the classroom, and I'm so grateful to her. I want to thank my family, my wife, Charlene Ford, my beautiful children, Brent and Carrie Elizabeth, and Vincent, because I test all my lessons on them. This is a very, very special moment for me, and I do really appreciate it. Thank you to the committee. I got to tell you, when I did that interview, it was more fun than I ever had in a long time. And who knew this was going to happen? Thank you very much to everyone, and you have humbled me deeply. Congratulations again, Mr. Ford. I'd now like to introduce Pam Rausch, Vice President External Affairs and Economic Development at Florida Power and Light Company to announce this year's STEM finalists. Thank you, Joe, and good evening, everyone. It is such an honor for me to present this award tonight. At FPL, we are committed to education and to our teachers who impact the lives of so many. At FPL, we strive to enrich students' experiences as it relates to STEM programs. A great example of this is our partnership with Dwyer High School, where for the past 15 years, FPL and our parent company, Next Era Energy exec Executives, have partnered with the Academy of Finance to provide college level programming, um, including financial modeling and things like that, um, dedicating almost 7,000 hours of volunteer service to help in the STEM arena. FPL also has partnerships with the Girl Scouts of Southeast Florida and the Urban League of Palm Beach County to also implement programs to raise awareness in STEM. At FPL, we also love robotics programs and have sponsored more than 100 robotics teams, including scholarships and funding for those programs. But it truly is the educators teaching our children about STEM who are the most critical factor to the success of these students. And that is why it is such an honor tonight for me to, to announce the finalists for the STEM education category. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Fish and I teach biotechnology and honors biology here at Spanish River High School. I love the enthusiasm, the motivation, it, you know, I get, I guess I'm getting it in a way from them, having them come after school every day this week. I just get, I like that. I like seeing that. I like seeing them work professionally. What I miss is that I don't, like they can't see me smiling, they can't see me fully, my face and our faces and our smiles and our emotions are really, you know, you can't see all that, but we make do. I guess I benefit from being a veteran. I think it's like I have awareness that it's a year and we move on and we'll go on and start again in August or September. You know, we're going to start again. I keep starting again, right? I'm going to go into my 32nd year. So I kind of know that cycle and I just get up every day and come in and, and you know, let's move, let's do this and make the best of it. Hi, my name is Rachel Wellman and I teach ACE Environmental Management and ACE Marine Science currently at Boca Raton Community High School. You know, I love the kids, the students. Um, they're so driven and they have lots of ambition. I've had students that um, have become really strong leaders, so much so I uh, convinced our administration to have an environmental leadership recognition for graduating seniors. They even have a blue and a green cord that they wear uh, to recognize their efforts. Many of them have as much passion as I do for, you know, the sciences that I teach and um, they inspire me and I, it helps me um, to keep moving forward and, and do the best that I can as a teacher. Hi, my name is Cindy White. I am a third grade math, science, and social studies teacher at Elbridge Elementary School in Wellington, Florida. I think what drives me are the children and my, just the students, just seeing their faces and just knowing what it is I bring to their lives and the impact that I can make on them. And just knowing that 
coming to school is something special for them. And so it makes me want to make every single day a special day for them. I think that for me, it's not that I was born to teach. Teachers molded me and made me want to become a teacher. I don't know what I was born to become because I tell my students that you can become anything. And But I do feel like there's just this passion and power inside of me that makes me want to be the best teacher I can. For me, that's just the part of teaching that I think that no one can ever truly understand unless you have the heart of a teacher where the paycheck means nothing, but you show up because you just understand. You've fallen in love with these kids. They're not even yours, and you've fallen in love. Hi, my name is Jen Whitman. I teach fifth grade this year at Lake Park Elementary School. You know, when you work so hard for kids and you work and you never think that you're reaching them, especially those online kids, the day that you see them actually understand something, those are the kind of moments that keep me coming back. I just love the support that the, well, the parents give me at the school I'm at, but the students have this willingness to learn. They come, they're really nice kids, and they're happy to come to school, and, and they just really work hard. I, I, has, I tutor four days a week after school, two days science, two days math, and then the science club, and they're all there. They're there always wanting to, to work and learn, and I like that. And their parents are so appreciative. Those are the things that keep me going. Well, it's an incredible group of finalists, but tonight's winner is Cindy White from Albridge Gale Elementary. I feel I was gonna cry, but I'm probably gonna cry. <laughs> Take your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not just this moment, but for just celebrating teachers in general. Um, I'm just shaking, sorry. Uh, I wanted to thank the Economic Foundation for just putting this on, for elevating our profession, just reminding everyone of how important the work that we do is. To my fellow educators, I'm shaking, but to my fellow educators who continue to persevere, especially this year, you show up every single day, even when showing up is the hardest thing you have to do. We do it. We show up and we love and we pour in these children. So I thank you. I thank you for every educator in Palm Beach County that continues to inspire me. The level of commitment that I've personally seen this year, it's just, it's unwavering. People who show up just because they love children. To my heartbeats, Jennifer Tobin, Raquel Gandy, Kezia, Dr. Crane, my partner, Kirsten, thank you for helping me be who I can be, the best version of me every day. Thank you for reminding me that every single day we show up is a day to be kind, to be loving, and to pour into our students. And of course, we don't get to these places alone, right? We don't just show up and end up in Dwyer, a Dwyer winner by ourselves. It's because we have amazing leaders. You know, my principal, Gail Pesergic, my AP Chad Phillips, my former AP Vonda Daniels, who continues to pour into me, the central area team, who is so encouraging and so giving and so kind. I thank you. And I also want to just say thank you to my fellow STEM educators and remind everyone that when we think of STEM education, it requires innovation. And one thing they always say is this innovation does not belong to one person. Innovation belongs to everyone. It doesn't matter what race you are, your gender, your economic status. My kids are now screaming in the room. <laughs> and so as we step into our class, it's important to remember that the faces looking at us are the future faces of America. They're going to be the innovators. So continue to advocate and really remind the world how every single student, every single child you come across deserves an opportunity and a place to be themselves to be free, to feel free, to grow and to learn. And to my husband, thank you so much for all of your labor of making some kits and pricing for me and letting me use our, all my paychecks on kids stuff. And to my church family, I love you. To my Elbridge Girl family, I love you because on my worst days, you guys encouraged me and reminded me what it means to be a great educator. So thank you. Cindy 
Cindy, congratulations. And now it is my honor to introduce Jim Moore, Strategic Account Executive for United Healthcare, to present our final award of the evening, our newly expanded student advancement and career education category. Here's to you, Jim. Thank you, Pam. United Healthcare is honored to be a small part of this amazing event that recognizes our fantastic finalists and the winners announced tonight so far with only one more to go. Start by doing what's necessary, then what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. St. Francis of Assisi said that over 800 years ago, but this took on a new meaning to all of the school district of Palm Beach County, school board members, superintendent, administration, staff, and amazing teachers in 2020. Having two kids in middle and high school, I know how difficult it was to keep them engaged. So I can only imagine the miracles that have been performed by our teachers and staff in the elementary schools. Now, all of you need to make sure to take care of yourselves as you always put everyone else first, especially your students. Take time to get back to see your doctors and other healthcare providers so we can help to make sure that we keep you on mission educating our future. We are proud to introduce you to the finalists in the final category, Student Advancement and Career Education. Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Goodman. I am the Department Chair for the Medical Academy at Pahokee Middle High School. You know, in Pahokee, we're a little different because it's not a very wealthy or well-to-do area. And these kids are sponges and they just absorb everything you tell them. My goal is to change one student's life, but I've changed all of them, I think. And what really keeps me coming to the glades is that these children don't aren't entitled. Maybe it's just my classes, but my kids are always pretty much smiling. And when they're not, they tell me all about it. So they rely on me. Um to be part of their life. And that's also why I do take stock in children so I could mentor some of them. They welcome me into their lives and I, and I really enjoy that. You know, I feel that that's how I can make the difference. I think one of the uh, main reasons for me becoming a teacher was to make a meaningful impact in my community. And I feel like teaching is one of the uh, best ways to make an impact and to help those around you. I'm an agriculture educator by choice, not by chance. And what keeps me coming back is that every day I have the opportunity to motivate and create an environment where my students can identify, set, grow, and accomplish their goals, not only as individuals, but as members of a team. As an agriculture educator as well, I help feed the world, I help develop leaders, and most importantly, I'm advocating for the most important and greatest vocation on earth, and I can't think of a better job than that. Hi, I'm Randy Scheitz, and I'm the school counselor at Binks Forest Elementary. When students come in and they tell me that I've made a difference, or every now and then I I run into students who are in high school and in, even in college and they come back and either or, or they send me emails that what I did really helped them make a difference. I've really helped them through some difficult times in their life and you know later on in life they, they, it, it makes a difference and, and I think school counselors have a unique role in being able to teach and to counsel and, and really impact the lives of students. I'm really proud of, of what I do. I'm proud of being a school counselor. But most of all, I'm, I'm proud of the school counseling program that I have created and really developed here at Binks Forest. Hi, I'm Luz Williams, and I'm a school counselor at North Gray Elementary School. So I feel that being a counselor fulfilled my life. And being a counselor, allow me to go into the classroom, uh, identifying the students who are struggling, not just with behavior, it's just with academics and giving that support to all of them. I feel that I'm touching the whole child 
and I'm kind of there for all of them. Some of them don't even have food at home or clothing to go to school. So I try to uh, deliver those extras so the whole child is being taken care. So they feel so agitated, they, they, they had anxiety. And when you are there and you kneel down, you work with them, and then you see that smile like, a, I can do this. Such amazing finalists. Thank you to each and every one of you for what you do every day. But now the announcement of the final member of the 2021 Dwyer Awards alumni is Mari Osanego of Glade Central High School. Again, congratulations, Marty. And now a word from our presenting sponsor, Hanley Foundation. I used to think I didn't have what it takes to be strong, to be a leader, to persevere, to be courageous. But I had it in me all along. The power to push past every obstacle. To speak up. To learn my voice matters. To be who I want. To change the world. I have the courage to be drug free. Do you? Thank you, Hanley Foundation, for once again being our title sponsor and for serving our community. I also want to congratulate all of our nominees, finalists, and of course, our new Dwyer Award winners. Thank you all for giving us the ability to learn about why you do what you do. I hear it every year from our judges who remark on how inspirational it is to get to know each of the nominees, to learn about your passion, your enthusiasm, dedication, and the creativity you bring to your classrooms each and every day. And in the middle of the worst global crisis we have been through in a generation or more, you pivoted to virtual learning and brought your classrooms into our homes. And if there was any good to come out of the pandemic, I believe it was the opportunity for parents to see firsthand what the Economic Council of Palm Beach County has known for over 37 years that we have some incredible educators teaching our children in Palm Beach County, and we are all profoundly grateful. It was also not a surprise that this year we received more Dwyer nominations than ever before. And it is why we came up with the Extraordinary Educator Campaign to further recognize your collective efforts through the pandemic. And in the span of just three weeks, we received over 2,340 nominations, mostly from parents and students. Now, so far we've announced the first 21 winners. The final 10 Extraordinary Educators will be announced this Friday, May 28th. So congratulations to all our Extraordinary Educator nominees and winners. And at this time, I'd like to hand it back to our own extraordinary MC, Felicia Rodriguez, to close us out for this evening.
Ah, Sergio, thank you. What a wonderful evening it has been. Thank you all for sharing in this really momentous event with us this evening in celebration of all the finalists. And of course, our seven winners, congratulations to you all for the 37th annual William T. Dwyer Excellence in Education Awards. We really want to extend a special thank you to all of our nominees, our finalists, and of course, the winners of the 2021 Dwyer Awards. We'd also like to thank the nearly 100 business leaders throughout Palm Beach County who really served as judges in identifying our winners. It was not an easy task. Tonight, they did that out of a pool of nearly 450 nominees. That was a lot of nominees they had to go through. To our presenting sponsor, Hanley Foundation, and to all of our generous sponsors, thank you for your continued support of education. And finally, to you, our educators in Palm Beach Th County, thank you for all you do to teach, inspire, and to encourage our future generation. I wish you and your family a healthy, safe, and enjoyable night. Good night, everyone, and hope to see you in person next year.